Hey guys, this is Walter. I'm with Centoro. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the beginner's guide to digital marketing. So this video is going to be a little bit interesting because I don't really have much of an agenda. I'm really just going to talk to you about the beginner's aspect of marketing, some things about what you need to know, um, you know, the most important things basically. And we'll, you know, we'll really just kind of leave it at that. If you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to us by uh, perhaps leaving a comment in our YouTube, uh, on our YouTube channel, um, via our website at centoro.com, or also by giving us a call at 407-923-0109. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's talk about digital marketing. So what is it? Digital marketing is basically marketing your business online or through a digital medium. These can be things such as, you know, SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. They could also be other pieces uh, like Google pay-per-click ads, LinkedIn advertisements, Snapchat ads, uh, Meta or Facebook ads. You know, you could have other things like email marketing, right? There's, there's a really, honestly, a whole host of, of different things. With so many aspects of digital marketing, how do you really choose the right one for your business? So when it comes to choosing the right uh, marketing tactic for your business, um, here's a couple of the different things that you're going to want to think about. Do I need a rate of return quickly or am I willing to wait a little bit of time? What am I expecting to get out of a campaign? And then finally, perhaps, um, how will I define success? You know, when you're looking at uh, those sorts of things as it relates to marketing, these will help you determine basically the advertising channels that you would like to utilize. So if you asked yourself that question and you said, okay, I need a quick rate of return or I need a faster rate of return, then my first, uh, you know, instinct there or where I would basically choose to go is probably something like uh, Google AdWords, LinkedIn ads, you know, it really kind of all depends basically on, you know, your business and where your customers are, are honestly at. Now, the reason why I would do that is because those advertising channels, uh, you can connect with your target audience very, very quickly. Um, so if you use Google ads, you're utilizing keywords. If you use LinkedIn or any of those other advertising channels, you're using basically like a selection process almost um, based on different uh, targeting criteria settings. You know, so lots of different ways basically to do it. Now, if you answer that question and you said, well, you know, I can take a little bit longer of a time period to wait to, before I see something, then... I would go honestly more so with like an SEO based strategy. Now, the reason why I would go for an SEO based strategy here is because you're obviously one, not looking to gain a quick return out of things very fast, um, but you're really wanting to build a base, build a quality, solid funnel and lead basis of stuff. And SEO is definitely capable of doing that. Now, when it comes to utilizing this strategy in particular, you are going to want to know right off the bat that SEO takes at least three to six months before it starts working. Starts working. Not three to six months and it is working. It will start working around that. And the reason being is because when it comes to SEO, um, SEO is a long-term strategy. It takes a lot of content to do. It takes a lot of backlinks to do. It takes a lot of social media posts perhaps to do. It takes a lot. There's a very, very hefty investment when it comes to doing SEO. Um, and typical rates, honestly, just for this service, just so you know, are normally gonna be starting around about $100 an hour um, and going upwards from there. The reason being is because the amount of content that you need to produce to actually be competitive is a lot. And this stuff requires constant keyword research, constant changing, you know, data testing, everything, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, if you want to learn more about SEO, we have great articles on our website to be able to do that. Um, you can obviously also go search the web to learn more about SEO. 
you know, there's a lot of different things um, when it comes to this particular strategy. But basically, the main key takeaway here is SEO, long-term strategy, it will get you organic search traffic. If you're smart about uh, targeting certain keywords or doing certain things, whatever the case may be, producing high-quality content is by far the most important thing when it comes to SEO. You hear all this talk about high quality content. Well, I'm going to tell you basically what high quality content actually means. An in-depth article of some kind that covers every conceivable aspect that somebody might think about when it relates to your product or your service, followed up with some nice imagery, custom imagery that supports your article, and then also perhaps even a YouTube video like you're watching here. We're talking about the benefits of digital marketing and the basics, the beginning uh, aspects of it. That's what this video is. It's to help you guys understand and consume the content in a different way rather than reading this long article, which is probably about 3,500 words and will surely grow later on down the road. Long story short here, you know, just creating content in other uh, usable formats and other formats or it's going to help you get an SEO boost. And it's also going to help you market your business online more effectively from other channels. So there are other aspects too, like email marketing. Email marketing is a great way to engage your current target audience for the product or service that you offer. This being basically, they've given you one of their most precious things, their email. Most people hate giving out emails. Um, and I honestly don't blame them. How many times uh, do we you know, subscribe to something and then they say, oh, we're not going to, you know, spam you or whatever the case is. And over and over and over and over, you get these emails from these companies. It's highly annoying. Nobody likes it. But guess what? It's still effective. Now, I'm not advocating that you go and you spam your audience with emails over and over and over. What I'm advocating for is smart use of the email. So smart use of an email list is much better than spamming your list um, because you'll get less unsubscribes, you have a more targeted, engaged audience, and you'll have basically a faucet that you can flip on and off when you need leads or when you need something, send people an email. Guess what? If you're providing really high quality stuff, they're not going to shy away. As long as you're providing the right aspects of things for your product or your service, whatever the case may be, you're not spamming people and you're being respectful of their time and their inbox, an email list is a great way to market your company. Now, obviously you have to build an email list before you can use an email list. And there are ways to do that too, such as lead capture forms, such as giving away, uh, you know, pieces of content like a strategy or a book or you know, a piece of information basically in exchange for their email. Whatever the case may be, use email lists smartly. Emails are very, very important when it comes to digital marketing. They can help nurture potential prospects uh, down, down the line, whatever the case may be. Using emails smartly is a great way. So another aspect of, you know, online marketing is going to be online billboards or just digital billboards in general. Digital billboards are a little bit of a, a spin on the traditional aspect of stuff where you put the vinyl up and, you know, basically, uh, you know, you have a static billboard. A digital billboard, on the other hand, um, is occupied by many, many different types of companies, many, many types of people, perhaps. You can set durations on things, whatever the case may be. Digital billboard, much more cost effective as well when it comes to advertising your business via that medium. You know, it just takes a couple of, uh, you know, nice graphics, whatever the case may be, a good advertising message and a strong agency can help get your product or your service um, out there using a digital billboard. So, you know, we put all of these different things together and, you know, now you start having a little bit more of a, an idea, basically a strategy on how to market your business. Uh, using social media, um, using some of these aspects. Well, I actually just kind of went into the next one, right? Social media. So when you're looking at stuff for social media, social media is highly important when it comes to digital marketing. 
And the reason being is because social media allows you to engage with your target audience. It allows you to create better trust, um, seem more likable, not just seem more likable, but actually be likable. You're potentially showing people a world uh, that they don't normally get to see. And that's actually what your social media should be used for. Show people the real side of you, who you are as a person, whatever the case may be. Look, we all want to do business with people. We don't want to do business with just these robot-like companies that, you know, just say, okay, well, we're going to do this, 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 and this, whatever the case may be, right? We're all people at the end of the day, right? Show people the other side of you. Show them what really matters. Also educate them about your product or your service. They'll start to know you, like you, and trust you. Social media is a great tool. There's a couple of different ways you can use social media. I'm going to touch on them briefly. You can do it through videos. You can do it through reels. You can do it through small little articles. You could do it through social media posts. You know, there's lots of different ways. Depending on your target audience, obviously, will also influence where you decide to go with your social media. But nonetheless, right, you can utilize uh, social media to reach your target audience as well. So final thing I really want to talk about is, you know, how do you track all of this stuff? I mentioned social media. I mentioned ads. I mentioned SEO. You know, I mentioned digital billboards right? How do you actually know if it's really working? So a couple of the different ways you can tell if your marketing is actually working, obviously, is if you're getting leads, are you getting increased impressions? Are you getting increased numbers of clicks onto your website? Whatever the case may be, those are going to be your initial uh, aspects of is your marketing actually working? But the some of the harder uh, you know, aspects of does your marketing dollars actually work are going to be things like conversions. So are you getting phone calls? Are you getting form submissions? Are you honestly just gaining more business through the door? Um, if you're able to answer those sorts of questions, then by far your marketing dollars are definitely working. So tracking all of that can be done in various different ways, like analytics. It can be done through Google Search Console. It could be done through other platforms like SEMrush, Ahrefs, those are keyword research platforms, things along those lines. But really, honestly, at the end of the day, it's just your first, your first person data that you have that's going to be the most important. Do you have that? Do you have conversions? Do you have phone calls? Do you have that sort of stuff? If you have that, then you're good. The rest, you know, we can all be figured out later on down the road. So you know, you look at all these different things. Now I've basically given you a primer on what digital marketing actually is, some different services and different things about what could be considered online marketing, when to use certain things, questions to ask yourself, whatever the case may be. So if you have any difficulties with online marketing, of course, you know, our team is happy to help. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, you know, we're going to be releasing different videos. We're just getting started on YouTube here. So we would really, really like, uh, you know, a comment or a share. Um, consider subscribing to us because we're going to be releasing these videos um, all the time throughout 2024 and beyond. We really just want to help you guys out. If you need help with your online marketing and your company, feel free to reach out to us 407-923-0109 or our email address at info at or just visit our website, centoro.com. You know, we'd love to see you. Um, you know, we'd really love to help you out. Again, this is Walter with Centoro. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Thanks.